So you guys, I want to bring out this video on Shakir O'Neal and talk about a few things such as his college experience so far and also his progress with his game. So we all know Shakir O'Neal is currently 19 years old and he also is a freshman attending Texas Southern University. He committed to the school back in last year of May, but here's the thing. He took a redshirt season for his first year being at this school. That's why he didn't play at all. And also when you look on the website, you can't see none of his stats. Even though he didn't play, Texas Southern still had a good season because they finished off with a 19-13 and record. If you guys do not know, they made it to the March Madness. They won in the first round against Texas A&M Corpus Christi, but they lost in the second round against the University of Kansas. So as you can see, Texas Southern had a real good season last year, and for this upcoming season, they for sure want to run it back. And I'm definitely excited for Shakira O'Neal because he's going to be on the squad for this upcoming season. He's been working out with his team throughout the entire summer, including with his older brother Sharif O'Neal. We all know back in July, Sharif signed with the G League team Ignite, and he also was playing in the Summer League. So Shakir has been real active throughout this summer. He's been putting in a lot of work in the gym, such as lifting more weights. He's definitely getting bigger, even though he's already 6'7", approaching 6'8", but he's got more athletic because he can jump higher. He posted a video on his Instagram. He went on Instagram Live, and he did a Jordan dunk, and it's just so crazy because nobody was expecting him to do that. He literally just did it out of nowhere, and even his older brother and his pops was shocked. So that's how you know Shakir is really improving because a lot of people were sleeping on him definitely when he was in high school he was a three-star player coming out of the class of 2021 at first he was attending crossroads school for his freshman and sophomore year but once his junior year came around that's when he decided to transfer across the country to union grove he played at that school for his first half of his junior year but once his second half came that's when he decided to transfer to creekside christian academy and he stayed at that school for the rest of his senior year and also graduated from that school Shakir was selected to gisa aaa all-state team he was averaging 14 points 10 rebounds shooting 58 field goal percentage he was holding two offers from texas southern and alabama state and Shakira also was receiving interest from university of texas and university of san diego so Shakir was definitely doing his thing for his senior year that's why he started to pick up more recognition from different schools because at first he was not holding no offers you guys he wasn't holding no offers until he transferred to union grove and also when he transferred to union grove throughout his junior year that's when he started to hit his growth spurt because he was around like 6'2 or 6'3 throughout his freshman and sophomore year but once his junior year came around that's when he finally hit 6'5 6'6 and of course that's when a lot of college scouts started to pay more attention to Shakir O'Neal even though he did commit to Texas Southern University, he even said himself that he wants to make it to the league. So, of course, he's going to be balling out for this upcoming season, but I just want y'all to know this. Don't be surprised if he ends up entering the transfer portal, just like his older brother, Sharif O'Neal, when he was at UCLA for his first two years, but then transferred to LSU for his last two. And Sharif did redshirt it one year due to a heart surgery situation. So, for Shakir O'Neal, like I said, he wants to make it to the league. And honestly, it just depends on how good he plays being at Texas Southern for his first year and also how many minutes he played as well because all that is going to play a huge factor on if he's going to stay at this school even back in december last year shaq even commented on shakir being at texas southern and he said i put my complete trust in the texas southern basketball coach johnny jones to develop shakir's game if you guys do not know this is johnny jones fifth season at texas southern and he also was shaq's assistant coach at lsu so honestly shakir and the head coach johnny jones have to have a good connection together because johnny jones had to see shakir o'neal's vision as in him making it to the league as well because that's how he helped his father Shaq make it to the lead being at LSU he saw his vision and he helped him work towards that goal it's all going to depend on how he functions at Texas Southern because he can transfer you guys he still have a full ride scholarship to go to a whole nother school so all that could happen and we all know his brother's situation it took him quite a while just to get to where he's at he's not even in the league yet right now he's at team ignite playing in the g league so shakir he can possibly go the same route as his brother or he can get drafted the difference between sharif and shakir the reason why sharif o'neal is taking the route that he's taking because he wasn't playing that good on a college level even though he was the top prospect coming out of high school but for shakir o'neal him not being a top prospect coming out of high school and also going to hbcu school he has time to develop himself in his game and if he put up good numbers on the college level he can enter the nba draft you guys so there's a possibility that Shakir o'neal could actually get drafted even if he's at texas southern or not he can go to a different school because like i said he was holding interest from university of texas and university of san diego and you already know if he plays better at texas southern other schools is going to be looking at Shakira as well and just think about it his dad Shaq already has real good connects with LSU they have a whole statue of him outside of their stadium so of course he can help his son get to LSU he just gotta do his thing at Texas Southern for his first two years 
Just like Sharif O'Neal when he was at UCLA, then most likely Shakir can enter the transfer portal, then transfer to LSU or whatever other schools that has interest in him. So he definitely going to have options in the future. He just have to do his thing at this school right now. But I'm very excited. I actually had the opportunity to watch Shakir O'Neal play in person back in 2020 when he was playing with Georgia Express basketball team for his AAU team during his senior year and at first when i pulled up he saw me because he just kept looking on the corner of his eyes then he was doing crazy dunks doing a pre-game warm-up such as trying to do 360 dunks and he was just showing out then of course right when the game started he was literally doing his thing Shakira was scoring the ball shooting threes and he actually tried to catch a body as well it was just so dope to me because watching him in person is really different and on top of that he was wearing his kobe's Shakira O'Neal is a really versatile player. He's real versatile because he can score the ball multiple ways. He can shoot threes. He can drive. He's already 6'7", so it's already hard to stop him when he drives into the paint. And he's getting bigger on top of that. And right when I finally got to meet him after the game, right when he saw me, he had a big smile on his face. And the first thing he said was, I watch your videos. Then he threw out the game sign. Then I was just talking to him, giving him my opinion on his game and his future as well. Shakir is a really cool dude. He's down to earth, real chill. And I would like to meet him again for sure. I definitely want to pull up to one of his college games. But yeah, you guys, I'm very excited for this upcoming season. I already know Shakir is going to be doing damage on the college level. It's just I hope the head coach, Johnny Jones, give him the opportunity to do damage. He already red shirt for his first season being at Texas Southern. He sat on the bench throughout the entire season. So you already know he's itching to play for this upcoming season. He is ready to to go because he's trying to make it to the nba he already said it before he committed to this school so he already know what his main goal is and on top of that he's following his older brother sharif because sharif is in the g league right now and he's trying his absolute hardest to get into the league sharif has been putting in extra work and sharif know exactly what he want as well because he had a lot of setbacks for him throughout his career so sharif definitely is getting up there and shakira is just right behind him waiting for his opportunity but i definitely want you guys to leave your comments and opinions below on how y'all feel about this i think you guys are watching if you make sure you like subscribe make she pressed the notification button. T game, we out. Oh, yeah, T up, boy. Yes, sir. Oh, he going nuts. He ain't playing. Ah! Ah, he ain't playing. He's trying to catch a body for real. He heard me, bro. He looked at the corner and like, he looked at his eye. There we go.